I really wish you'd stop coming here. I got, I got nothing to say to you. I just want you to listen. This thing between us that you can't get past is the fact that I break the law for a living. Oh, come on, son. You're a mobster. Just call it. Damn, a mobster. Whatever you want to call it. I, I'm here to tell you how I got that way. I want to tell you how I became the man that I am. I, you may not be interested. I'm just asking for the courtesy of a hearing. No, it's not going to change anything. Then I, I'm warned. Your grandmother, Della, was a Cuban immigrant. Your grandfather, Mike Corbin, is a great man. He, uh, he, he, he had a problem. He was addicted to gambling. He's not somebody that you can count on. He'd be happy one day, and next day he'd be gone for weeks, sometimes months, however long it took to hit rock bottom. And then he finally, he abandoned me and my mother. I was about six years old. Hmm. Well, I know what that's like, growing up without a father. Well, I think it's a little different because Olivia didn't bring her relationships home. My, my mother did. Um, she ended up getting together with this lawyer named Trevor Lansing. He, he was married. She, my mother loved him. She had a child with him. My half brother Rick. Trevor hated me, but he never hit me. The next guy did. My mother uh, and Trevor broke up. She took me, Trevor took Rick, and she married a cop named Timothy Deacon Woods. They called him Deke, piece of work. The fact that he uh, was on the force to serve or protect was a joke. It's one of the, one of the reasons why I had no respect for the badge early on. This man was a monster. So, you don't like the way I treat your mother? Well, she's my wife. She'll earn respect, like you. Out! At first, you know, it was yelling and intimidation, and when you got a little boy looking up at this big man ready to hit you, and that's all Deke was about. He was all about hitting. Time to learn a little respect. You know better than to raise your hands to me, boy. Don't, Don't you ever talk to me that way again. He'd lock me in a closet, and he'd beat the crap out of my mother, and I would hear it through the door. And then he'd let me out of the let me out of the closet and he he'd wail on me with his belt. You got lesson coming, sonny boy. Bastard. And I was, you know, I was too too little to fight back. But one thing Deep did teach me. He taught me how to hate. Covered, pretended. That's the last time it's gonna happen. It's not, you know, because God's not gonna let it happen again. But you know, the uh, it was just not fair because Deke had all the power. My mother, you know, and I, we just didn't, we didn't have any. As I got older, I started uh, hanging out with the Cirillos, pretending again that they were my real family. I mean. You know, Mrs. Cirilla can give you a good whack upside the head, but there wasn't any beating going on over there, you know? And then I, uh, I had Olivia. She was an angel. Not to everybody, because she, she was tough, but, but she, she was my light. Then I'd have to go back to the apartment from hell where all the beatings, you know, and all that, the abuse would start again. And But I knew that eventually I'd figure out a way to get out. So I started doing odd jobs for Joe Scully for the cash. Olivia didn't want me to do that, and she wanted me to quit. Well, why didn't you? quit then if like you say it was for the kids well I, you know i asked myself that a thousand times but maybe i was just kidding myself that i had all this ambition so i stayed and olivia left me 
I didn't share going with Cousin Connie. Olivia went her way, I went my way, and then one day she turns up pregnant. And I got it, I got be, I'm going to be very honest with you. I did not know that I was the father. I believed Olivia when she told me she'd gone wild for a minute and, you know, she'd been with a few guys. <sighs> but now that I look back, you know, she didn't tell me it was my child because she'd already decided that I was too deep into the business. Seventeen, when Deke hit me for the last time, and I don't, I don't know what it was about that particular fist to the face, but I gotta tell you, my head exploded. I saw red. I went after Deke like a bat out of hell. I'd have killed him if my mother didn't stop me. So she told me to leave, and never come back. Your mother's side with your abuser over you. Well, you have to understand back then, you know, that there were no resources for help. You you drew a card, you lived it, and you pretended. Plus, Deke was a cop. And that was dangerous on a whole other level. My mother was trapped. You never blamed her? Not for one single minute. Anyway, Joe, Joe Scully offered me a job. I started working for him. I, I needed to get set up. You know, I, I didn't expect it to be a, a life choice or, you know, I just wanted to get into a better position in the world. You know, something must have happened to change that. I was away from home about a year, and Deke beat my mother so bad that he put her in a hospital. So I, I told Joe, what happened? Joe said, be out in the public the next night. When did they find Deke's body? In an alley, shot execution style. That was my point of no return. I was going to be loyal to Joe for the rest of his life. So that's uh, my path. I just wanted you to know got here. Well, it's, uh, it's a pretty terrible story, Sonny. It's pretty painful to hear. I can't even imagine living through it or even remembering it. I feel sorry for the boy you were. But uh, you know what? The prisons are full of... Uh, Lives with crappy backstories, so that uh, doesn't excuse anything.